Contrary to popular belief, mechanical seal design and operation is relatively simple. Basically, it consists of two flat faces, one stationary, mounted in the gland, and one rotating with the shaft in a circular motion. Next, spring pressure is incorporated to help hold the faces together. The spring pressure also serves to compensate for end play and some shaft runout. Finally, secondary sealing elements are added to prevent leakage along the shaft and around the stationary face. These secondary sealing elements meet a wide variety of applications and are available in several styles and materials. Now, the seal design is complete, an assembly that stops leakage in the three critical areas. At seal faces, at the face of the stuffing box, and under the seal along the shaft. During mechanical seal operation, fluid pressure inside the stuffing box forces the two sealing faces closer together, while providing the faces with a lubricating film, reducing frictional wear across the faces. This minute amount of fluid would be considered leakage. However, the frictional heat generated by the faces causes the fluid to evaporate. Now that you have a basic understanding of seal operation,